All right, so regional restaurants, people love them. People get excited about them. Uh, we get like Skyline Chili if you're from Cincinnati or um, I don't know if In-N-Out Burger was coming to the East Coast, people would be all abuzz. One of the Midwest restaurants a lot of people seem to get excited about for ice cream and such is Culver's. And just up the road from us here at uh, Beacon Lake on County Road 210, there's one opening, I believe today, I didn't call to check it out, but I'm just gonna head over there and see what they have, see what all the hubbub's about, and uh, maybe share some of the, you know, experience with y'all. Uh, you've been to Culver's, you tried it before, what do you think? Anyways, I'm gonna shut this off for now. We'll continue later. So we're just driving past the beach walk on the right. We got the, the uh, gorilla carts here on the right. On our left, you can't see it. Fighting Chance, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Oh, there's cars though, that's right. I should be in class, don't tell anyone. Um, some self storage place, and then up here on the right, we're gonna come by uh, the uh, trailer supply company. What's that called? Tractor trailer supply. And then just past that is the brand new, the Fountains uh, Plaza coming in. And that's where Culver's is going to be. That's where there's a breakfast restaurant, I believe, called Grumpy's going in there. I think there's a Thai restaurant. Uh, I can't remember what it's called going in there. So that'd be actually kind of nice to have nearby. All right, so we're passing by Tractor Supply right now. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes once we pull up here to, oh, there's Culver's right ahead here. So lots of cars in there. Uh, let's see how, see if they can do the Chick-fil-A thing and get us through the drive-thru fairly quickly. All right, here in the Culver's parking lot, just waiting. See, there's a decent lineup of cars here today. Uh, pretty crowded. Lots of people want to get a head start on trying this thing. I don't think I'm going to do the ice cream custards today, uh, but I'm going to pick up some lunch and uh, we'll see how it goes. Definitely a long line today. It's probably been... I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe eh, maybe about 10 minutes, but uh, not quite Chick-fil-A ready yet, but in fairness, it is their first day, so they're working out kinks and everyone's coming at once. Uh, Chick-fil-A is a little bit more used to this. But anyways, almost there. You see right up here, the menu's a couple of spots away. It's like you gotta be under nine foot six in your vehicle to fit through the drive-thru, and that's uh, why well, I'm gonna pull up here in just a second in order. So we'll try and get a shot of the menu here for you. All right, so I got the system here. You put a sticker on your side mirror and uh, they'll bring it out to you when they get a little behind. So waiting on the food, uh, one thing that I noticed when I said thank you, they said my pleasure. So maybe they picked up some Chick-fil-A stuff, but uh, take it a little bit, which is fine. I'd rather have it fresh and, and, and take a little bit than have it sit for a long time and they get it out right away. Then we're gonna take the short trip home and open it there. So uh, it won't be quite fresh, but I think we're like two minutes away from Beacon Lake here. So uh, it won't, uh, shouldn't take too, too long. And uh, we're expecting it to come out any minute now. I appreciate your patience. Sir. No thank problem, you thank so you very much. much. Enjoy and have a great thank day. you. All right, here we go, we got, we got the goods. Let's get out of here and go eat the goods. All right, almost home. And if the smells in the car are any indication of the lunch I'm about to have, excited. It's going to be good. All right, here we go. I'd bring Anne Maria to show her food, but she's on the Peloton right now, if you can hear in the background. And let's see what we got in here. All right, here's the cheese curds. I love cheese curds growing up. Uh, never had them fried until actually coming down here though at a, shoot, it's the brewery, uh, Wicked, Wicked Barley Brewery has really good cheese curds. All right, so we got a couple boxes here. And then let's see what kind of onion rings they have. Okay, yeah, they got the solid onion that's battered. It's kind of like, this is what this butter burger looks like. This looks like it's a, kind of a smashed burger, like you get at Freddy's over at Town Center. And then their chicken sandwich is kind of on an oblong bun. 
I am not going to grab a bite of that. That'd be rude. But let's, uh, let's try a bite of this sucker here. Hold on one sec. All right. All right. Here we go. First bite of a butter burger. I don't even know if there's butter. I don't know why they call it a butter burger, but uh, I guess we could look that up. Lots of meat and cheese going on here. I got the ketchup. It's a really good burger. So I'm excited to have Culver's right up the road here on 210, just outside of Beacon Lake, just outside of Beach Walk, not far from Shearwater, all these great neighborhoods here. Try not to talk with food in my mouth. <laughs> but um, looking forward to trying the cheese curds, the onion rings, and then we'll go back sometime and try all their ice cream stuff with the kiddos and Anne-Marie and whatnot.